This is Scott Dorner with The Hot Company. I'm going to be taking you through how to use Sample Setup in the BOD Manager. Again, Sample Setup is used to um, configure the system to tell the BOD Manager worksheet what types of samples do you run typically. You're going to list your influent, your effluent, your dilution blanks, all that kind of stuff. So I go ahead and click on the Sample Setup button right here, and it's going to bring up the sample setup form that allows me to configure all the stuff. Now if you've run the wizard already, the first time you run the program it asks some of these questions and it's already set this up. In this case, I already have dilution blank and I've got a uh, number of bottles are uh, two and I'm running 300 milliliters of each and then I have some options over here and in this case I check off the dilution blank. What that's telling the system is, is that when we run bottles and we say this is the dilution blank sample, Standard methods criteria is going to be applied to those bottles, but in this case we're not going to treat it like a normal BOD. We're going to just apply the rules that apply to a dilution blank, which is stuff like you can't drop by more than 0.2 during the five days. I use these buttons here to scroll through the records. And uh, what I'm going to look at next is maybe influent. So influent, I say I'm going to run three bottles or dilutions. I'm going to run two, five, or eight. 2, 5, and 8 are my dilutions. Uh, that was suggested by the wizard, but again, you can ad adjust those. Anytime you add in the influence sample into a worksheet now, it's going to come up and add three bottles in, and they're going to be 2, 5, and 8. So this is where you're setting that default. Um, some of the other more complicated parts of this is the GGA standard. And again, this one just has the option. Standard is checked. It means when bottles are run and the BOD manager, the worksheet manager, looks at standard methods, it's going to check these bottles against the standard that has to be, I believe, 198 plus or minus 35. And again, you set that in criteria setup, but it's now the BOD worksheet manager, the program, knows to check these bottles against that criteria. That's how it knows that. I also have to set up my seed. If I happen to use seed, I'm going to create a sample name, something like seed, let's say. And I'm going to check off that this is used as seed. So I'm, what I'm saying here is I'm going to run three bottles, 3, 8, and 12, of this seed substance. And when I check off in other samples, such as effluent that I seed it, it knows to go look at these bottles to back calculate out that seed out of the result. So let's go look at effluent now. And as I scroll through here, here's effluent. I do three bottles, 61, 20, and 200, and seed added to the sample. The seed control sample name is the one, is seed, the one I just set up. And when I do it by default, I'm going to add two milliliters of uh, sample into that, two milliliters of seed. To create a new sample, I could uh, just click New and come in here, and let's say I've got to do an upstream sample. So I do upstream. I just simply type it in. I choose how many bottles I want to run, let's say two. And I'm going to do, let's say, 10, a dilution of 10 and 20. I don't uh, seed it, so I'm going to check no seeding. Uh, none of these things apply, and basically that's it. I can exit or any way that I move off that record, it's, it's there for me now. That's all there is to sample setup. Thank you.